हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू देवी राइट टेक्नोलॉजीज इट्स बीन ए लॉन्ग टाइम सिंस वी क्रिएटेड आवर लास्ट वीडियो बट आई एम हियर टू शो केस अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम एशिया ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट्स एन अमेजिंग प्रोडक्ट यू कैन बिल्ड अ वेराइटी ऑफ यूज केसेस यूजिंग दिस एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डिजिटल ह्यूमन्स so let's get started how quickly we can build a digital human using asia digital human technology let's get started so i'll get started by creating a new project i'll name this project as and chatbot technology we are going to select asia live and you need to select and you need to provide few configurations to your chatbot such as search service name key azure apni ai resource name resource key and what's the model you have deployed on your azure apni ai okay so i'm going to get these details I just entered Azure resource, Azure AI search resource name, and the key, and Azure Open AI resource name and the key. You can also get these details if you do not have Azure AI search. You can click on this links that is available, and you can get the keys right from here. We have mentioned all the details. well you can choose any model but we would recommend you to choose gpt 3 5 turbo 1106 that's comparably better compared to gpt 3 5 turbo it has comparably better accuracy compared to the previous version well gpt 4 uh, gives you the best answers but the latency will be high so it's recommended to go with the 1106 model okay and that's all we create a new project once you create a new project i'm going to click on that and you need to set your core system message this is a default system message that asia digital human provides you are to act as a helpful customer service agent for the organization Asia Digital Humans. Your task is to listen to the user's question, provide a short answer of ten twenty words, unless asked by user to provide more detail. And also along with that, it is also going to give you three to four suggestions based on your data, so that you can, so that you can click on them and get your queries answered. So here it has just given me a welcome message. Hi, I am a quantum bot. Your digital human. How can I help you? i can also modify this so there are two variations one is text and one is speech speech will be spoken by the digital human text will be available as a text chatbot so i'll give, i will show you that interface in a bit and rest all yeah these are all the suggested actions that you can have on the welcome card on the welcome message and also you can choose to add your own background image of the avatar and restrict to own data so i am going to click on that so that i get only answers from my own data i can also change that to answer from the own gpt model the trained gpt model so let's use that and i'm going to save this so changes are saved and yes let's go to manage files i'm going to upload a document so that i train my own data with that so i am going to click on create upload new okay let's upload the document that's my document name and let's say i am going to give the display name as quantum computing this will be helpful while showing the reference of the document 
So, and also you can give it a public facing URL so that user can click on that URL and go to that uh, reference directly. As of now, let me just put it as google.com or it's not required for now. And also description goal of the document so that uh, chat GPT understands that. I'll just leave it blank for now. And what's the chunk size in tokens? Okay. And let's say what's the language of the document. I'll say English and create. Okay. So I have the document here. It's currently status as not index. So I'm going to index that. Okay. Indexing in progress. Let's wait for a couple of minutes so that my indexing will get completed. And then after that, quickly, I can just uh, interact with my digital human based on this document. Quickly, I'll show you what is there in the document. So it's just a simple two page document about the quantum computing and very small things. I have been using the same document for all of my previous videos. So I thought of using the same one for the digital human technology as well. So let me just reload the page. So it's still in progress. You can upload any number of documents. All will be available in your uh, search index. So our documents have successfully indexed and we can see the status of document indexing completed. Now we are ready to get started. I'll go to my project. Against the quantum computing, I'll visit the website for my digital human. Okay, let's get started. I'll start a conversation. Hi, I am Quantum Bot, your digital human. How can I help you? Perfect. And it has shown me a few suggested actions, but I'm going to say to the bot, What is quantum computing? I believe I'll not be able to show you because my microphone is already be in engaged mode since I'm recording this video. Let me type in the chat bot. Quantum computing uses qubits to process information faster than classical computers. See, now these two suggested actions are real time generated. So what are the challenges of quantum computing? How do qubits work? So let me ask is what is qubit? Currently, as of now, it's only generating answer in 1020 words, but I can also modify my system message so that it can generate more content. A qubit is the basic unit of information in quantum computing, capable of representing both zero and one simultaneously due to superposition. Okay, that's good. So let's see how I'll just click on one of the suggested actions. What happens in quantum computing? Superposition allows qubits to exist in multiple states simultaneously, similar to a spinning coin showing both heads and tails until measured. So that's really amazing, right? You can just uh, while she speaks, you can just uh, let her speak completely by clicking on this shush button. She'll be quiet, but uh, yeah, you can click on one of the few options. Implementing qubits in quantum computing faces challenges due to the fragile nature of qubits, which are sensitive to environmental disturbances like temperature fluctuations and electromagnetic radiation. Yes, since my internet uh, connection is not stable, so sometimes uh, she freezes. Uh, but if you have a good internet connection, then you will have a better experience. Okay, so let me ask something which I usually ask. That is... Uh, who is the fastest man alive? We're just going to test if it works uh, answering the questions outside your own data. Let's see. Oh, I didn't seem to find an answer to that question. Did you want to ask something else? So that's the one. So she doesn't know that because we have selected the option as own data. So if I just rest, if I just uncheck that and then if I ask, then bot will respond. 
So the main objective is to build a digital human technology and that is successfully achieved with this tech by Asia Digital Humans and how quickly and easy is to create this bot. You just create a project, upload the file and start testing it right away. Okay, and this is the text chat bot which uh, shows you the messages that is being spoken by the bot. You can also turn off turn on sound and just ask her to repeat the same thing again and just uh, yeah make a stop by clicking osh okay all right so that is all about this digital human technology by asia Quantum digital computing humans. utilizes qubits and now which she can speaks. exist in superpositions and become entangled allowing for parallel processing and faster calculations challenges include qubit fragility and engineering complexities okay so that is all if you want to also build such a technology for your own use case, uh, just connect with the Asia Digital Humans and they'll be able to help you build such a technology for your own use case. And it's amazing. A few of the other use cases that uh, I have been thinking of uh, that can be implemented as a, uh, in healthcare industry where uh, Patients can interact directly with digital humans for their prescription or other related doubts about their medicine or any useful information. Well, digital humans can provide instantly to them. And few other things that I can think of is uh, your sales representative. Uh, you can have a sales pitch using this digital human and various other there is no limit in the use case you can build with this technology so that's all thanks everyone see you in the next video